who is this guy on the screen? You know, we, we need to contextualize who this person is delivering. Quentin Tarantino? Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Now, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a lower third in, which is a classic thing they use in news and current affairs, and I use it in pretty much every corporate doco that I make. Uh, and it's a really, it's just the best way to be able to introduce someone without them having to go, hi, I'm Ben, I do this. It's just a way it, it qualifies the person. So again, there are a few different versions that you can use in, in iMovie. And this is the one we tend to use because it's got two levels on it. I'll show you what I mean. So when we click in here, so it's got a, a top and a bottom. So you put your name and then maybe either you put what your title is. So Ben McEwing, web video producer. Or Ben McEwing, and then I could put it on the same web video producer and then a question, you know, what is the difference between viral and branded content or something like that. So do that. Video. We tend to use title case when doing things like that. Depends, again, it's just your style. Now, it, it defaults to being centered. I like putting everything on the left. So, And there's another good reason to put things on the left yeah. as well. When you're embedding videos, if it's on <coughs> YouTube, often YouTube can have their logo in the bottom right-hand corner, and some of the video sharing sites will have their, their logo on the bottom right-hand corner. So always position your stuff on the bottom left-hand corner, and then that way it won't get you know, distracted. Yeah, so I'm going to move it left. So the way you do that is you highlight it, you go up to Show Fonts, and that opens up everything you need to know about the fonts. This, it'll default to different fonts that you can use as well. But then you can sh show System Font Panel, and you'll get a choice of every font that's available on the Mac. So Dave loves Myriad Pro. Does everyone know where Myriad Pro, that's the one used by Apple. So we're going to use Myriad Pro. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if it's oh, on that. No, we're not. So we're going to use the next best thing, which is Helvetica. Helvetica New, which is a nice font. And then over here, we can, that's our alignment, same as you'd find in Word. Just move it to the left. You can change the colors. You can change, you can put an outline on it. You can bold it. You can italicize it. You can do all those different things. So we'll just leave it. Again, I lean towards simplicity, you know. Uh, it, it depends though. When I'm, when I'm making a video for a client, I will have a custom made lower third designed with their logo on it and branding because I want to help them brand that way. For us, we just, you know, we use it simply because it's more about um, presenting content in, in that way. So now we've got a lower third in there. So let's just run it through. Oh, I maybe decided not to work. See, that's probably a bit long. It, can, it is a really effective thing, but again, behind that viral video, so now we know who I am. So, with the custom lower third, do you just make, is that just made up as like a transparent GIF or something? Yeah, well, it's it's yeah, it's it's just built in. It's just a, that one is. You said you made custom ones for clients. Ah, yes. Um, it's actually yeah. It's it's a transparent. You can have a GIF or you can use. Uh, a, a movie file, or a PNG file. Okay. And that just you just you can, slide that over the top. He, yeah. You're yeah. usually doing that with uh, Final Cut, with but Final you, Cut. you can also do it in iMovie. You just drag it in. iMovie is really easy that way. Same with ScreenFlow, as Rob was talking about. Very easy to just drag stuff in. So make your image and drag and drop it in. Yeah. And it is again. It just it just ups the the quality of it.